Hello everybody, uh, welcome to today's uh, live broadcast. Uh, my name is uh, Asim and I'm product manager from QNAP and uh, today we are going to talk about our one of the most creative uh, solutions uh, which is QMAGI which is mainly a photo backup and photo management solution for the QNAP NAS users. Okay, so uh, let's get started with our presentation. Um, can we see the slides? Can we see the slides please? Okay, yeah, so today we are going to talk about uh, our uh, QMAGI application and uh, QMAGI is mainly an AI powered photo management solution uh, which comes with an option for storage, flexible storage because it's on the NAS so of course uh, the storage space is always going to be an advantage for all the NAS users. Okay, so today um, uh, our uh, live broadcast is uh, uh, divided into five parts. Uh, in the beginning, uh, we are going to tell you about the new Google Photos uh, policy change and limitation uh, that they have introduced, and uh, then uh, we are going to talk about our uh, QMAGI application and how it helps to solve the problems which are posed by uh, Google Photos. Uh, then we'll go through some user stories which are uh, in, uh, which for target users who can use QMAGI. Uh, then we'll introduce some new features and do the demo side by side, okay? Uh, so let's first talk about, uh, you know, Google Photos. As we all know, uh, you know, most of us, we use Google Photos uh, for uh, storing their photos or you know one of the most uh, popular uh, photo uh, storage or photo management application is Google Photos and what has happened is in the recent time is uh, you know Google Photos has introduced a limitation now what is this limitation the limitation is that the storage space will be restricted from unlimited high resolution photo backup to only 15 GB of free storage okay and that is shared across Google Photos, Drive as well as Gmail, okay. What it means is that from now on, you know, uh, uh, sorry, this policy will uh, come into play from uh, June 2021. This was introduced in, uh, I think, November 2020 and uh, from June 2021 onwards, you know, all the photos, the high quality photos that you're going to upload to Google Photos, they are going to count towards the 15 GB account uh, count towards the free storage 15 GB of free storage you know with if you open an account on Google then you will get a default space of 15 GB which is the free space you don't have to pay for it but from now on from uh, June uh, 2021 onwards whenever you will upload any photo on Google photos all the high quality photos you know they will count towards those 15 GB free 15 GB so what it means is like Google Photos, uh, what it means is like the users who are going to use Google Photos or Google account, they will have less storage now, okay? So that's uh, a big important change that, you know, Google has introduced and, you know, which completely makes sense because uh, the number of Google users are growing so much day by day that, you know, it's, it's almost impossible for them to provide free storage to all their users. And with the number of photos which are growing in every user's account, you know, it's it's not possible for them to provide, uh, you know, free storage. Sooner or later, someday, uh, for every user, you know, the storage space will become a problem. Now, because the storage space will become a problem, uh, the users will need an alternative. So, let's talk about this limitation first like what problem this has created for all users, not just for me, not just for you, for everybody who's using Google and some of for all those people who use uh, Google Photos for storing their photos. The biggest problem is there's going to be an excessive long-term maintenance cost. Basically what it means is that in the long run, you know, your cost for to afford uh, Google, uh, to afford to, uh, sorry, your cost to afford uh, uh, to save photos on Google will increase because as I said the storage uh, they, are, they are beginning to introduce uh, storage limits on their accounts so 
the cost will eventually come into play for all users who are you know so far they have been just using the google photos or google account for free uh, the next is you know uh, there will be storage space anxiety why because of course right now you know this policy has been introduced in november 20 uh, the, this announcement uh, announcement was made in november 2020 but we never know like in future you know they may introduce even more restrictions google may introduce even more restrictions there will be more restrictions uh, let's say imagine tomorrow they come up with a plan that uh, you know you have to pay uh, maximum of you uh, i mean you you will get only 10 gb of free space and for more than that you have to pay extra you know you never know or maybe they will increase the price or the cost of space extra space so you know the user will always have this uh, anxiety or disadvantage that you know tomorrow if they just rely on google photos or google for storing their data you know the the, the they are subject to change the price as well as the amount of space is always subject to change by google okay so that is another problem that the users will face and the third one is of course you know when all these problems will happen whenever you are looking for an alternative you don't have a very good alternative you know you need some another photo management or photo backup solution where you can easily migrate your you, you can easily migrate to that means you can easily move all your photos from google photos to the other place okay so due to this uh, limitation that has been introduced by google so many problems uh, the users are going to face now you don't have to worry about uh, you know all these problems because as long as you are using a qnap nas uh, to save all your photos you know you are completely fine so in order to overcome this problem we are going to introduce qmaji which is actually QNAP's AI powered photo management solution. Okay. So basically what is QMaji in very simple terms, as we said, it's an AI powered photo management solution, but it also comes with a lot of space or flexible space. Eventually it means it's because it's on your NAS. So the space is completely under your control. There is no restriction about policy change. There's no problem or there's no anxiety about, you know, change in the space or the cost okay you purchase the nas you purchase the hard disk and everything else is yours okay so another thing is qmaji is an absolutely free application when you buy buy the nas it will come free for qnap nas users okay so you don't have to pay anything extra for qmaji so when you're using the qmaji software it's completely free all you have to do is purchase the nas okay in general if we can go uh, we can just have a look on this uh, uh, diagram here okay qmaji helps you to back up and transfer all the photos from mobile from camera or from your pc onto your uh, qnap nas and you can browse and manage these photos through your uh, mobile or through your pc and also you can share these photos to other social media of course you can uh, transfer the photos from google photos to qmaji as well but uh, uh, you, I mean, right now we don't support direct transfer. You have to manually download and then upload from your PC again. Okay, so that's Qmaji for you. Uh, one of the most important uh, uh, aspects of Qmaji, which generally you know uh, uh, users don't realize or doesn't come to attention, is the Qmaji Core. Now, what is Qmaji Core? Qmaji Core is the backend AI application of Qmaji. This is the place where all the uh, ai related algorithms are implemented okay but any end user will never come to know about it because all of this is in the you know it's in the back end side so a user doesn't have to worry about what is going on in qmaji core how how the face recognition how object classification how those techniques are implemented you don't have to worry about it but it's very important for us to you know inform our users that you know there is a a brain sitting behind Qmaji to bring you all those AI related features, which I'm going to demo you today. So to bring all those AI related features, there's a brain sitting behind it and that is Qmaji core. Okay. So just an example for you is like the Qmaji core will do the object classification and face recognition for you. 
and uh, but you will be able to see it inside the QMAG application in the in the form of smart albums. So all your uh, photos will be automatically categorized into objects or uh, collected together into you know depending on people like face recognition with people. So all that is you will see that in QMAG. But the the brain behind that is QMAG Core. Okay, so we just wanted to introduce this concept to our users as well so that they they understand uh, you know. Uh, the difference between QMAG and QMAG Core. Okay, so QMAG, as we said, you know, it's a perfect alternative for your Google Photos. Why? Because it can do all the things that Google Photos does. So you can do automatic face recognition and object classification, which are basically our AI powered uh, algorithms. You can also access, you can download, upload, and share your photos from anywhere. You know, it's quite. Uh, uh, accessible from your phone as well as from your PC or your desktop okay and the photo storage and management you can you can store your photos you can manage your photos all the basic photo storage and management options that you get in Google Photos you get all that in QMAG as well so basically QMAG is an absolute alternative of Google Photos but on your QNAP NAS with extra security and storage flexibility however QMAG has some other app other advantages as well so one of the advantages so we are going to go through those advantages so first is one time purchase it is just you know all you have to do is just purchase the NAS and purchase your hard disk and that's it you never have to pay anything extra to use a software like QMAG okay so all just purchase the NAS and start putting or back, uh, uploading your photos to the uh, to the NAS and you can use QMAG to access your photos so no more long-term cost okay Flexible storage space because as we said, you know, the NAS is your private server, your private uh, photo storage server. So you can use the space as per your convenience. You can set up the rate configurations as per your, uh, as per your convenience, as per your requirements. Okay. Third is we have a very, very strong, powerful search filter and classification methods, uh, which helps you to locate your photos easily. So this is something we are going to uh, introduce later today in the demo. Uh, you know, we have introduced new filter functions, which really makes it easy for you to locate your photos. It makes your overall user experience for browsing your photos much, much better. Uh, the fourth one is uh, very important is uh, QMAG can be deployed on premise or it can also be deployed on cloud. Uh, if uh, I don't know if uh, users are aware of this, but we have a cloud NAS solution as well, which is called QTS cloud. Uh, if you deploy, uh, you can deploy QTS Cloud on on-premise VMware or you can also deploy it on a cloud. The only difference between uh, QTS Cloud and Q QNAP NAS is that QMAG is not a free application in QTS Cloud. So if you are going to deploy it in the cloud, uh, you may have to pay extra for QMAG, but the price of that is also very nominal. Okay, But if you buy a QNAP NAS, you don't have to pay anything for QMAG. Okay? And the last but not the least, we have an overall NAS ecosystem where you know you can manage uh, and you know QMAG, you, you can leverage QMAG with the help of other QNAP, QNAP NAS applications. So for example, hybrid backup sync. Uh, the hybrid backup sync application in QNAP NAS helps you to backup data from one from your cloud to the NAS. So with so imagine if you have some photos stored in Dropbox or in Google Drive or in Amazon Drive. So if there are photos stored on those locations or imagine if the photos are stored in your Amazon S3, you can directly back up those photos from those, those uh, photos to, uh, from let's say Dropbox or Google Drive to your NAS. So this is direct uh, transfer. You don't have to do it manually by downloading and uploading again. Okay. So with the help of uh, hybrid backup sync, it opens a lot of opportunity for users to you know automatically transfer their photos located in different cloud platforms to the QNAP NAS okay so that's so these five advantages you know really make QMAG a very good alternative for uh, Google Photos okay uh, let's talk about some of the user stories that uh, you know uh, users can use or uh, what kind of user stories uh, uh, what kind of users can use uh, QMAG for uh, one of the important advantages is you know you can very easily locate similar photos so imagine like you know there's a wildlife photographer or there's a nature 
uh, photographer or landscape photographer all of them let's categorize them as let's say wildlife photographers now what they do is you know these people wildlife photographers especially when they go into the wild they'll take millions not millions they will take hundreds of photos of the same uh, animal or of for the same spot uh, just an example you can see here in the slide okay uh, uh, there's a frog sitting there and you know a photographer will take so many several photos of this frog from so many different angles okay so the problem is you know over a period of time it will become very hard for you to locate those similar photos okay when the database the the, the photo database will become bigger and bigger it will become very difficult for you to locate these photos how do you know uh, let's say uh, you want to find a photo you, you want to find a particular photo but there are so many of these photos and they are duplicates or they are very similar so how will you locate them so one option is in Qmaji is you know we have a album or smart album which is called similar photos with the help of similar photos you can see here all the photos which are similar very similar to each other like taken from the same angle and you know they are almost duplicate of each other so you can get all those similar photos very easily into the similar photos album you can we'll we'll show you this later okay so it becomes very easy for you to browse or find those photos which are similar to each other and then once you find these photos you can either you know delete them or you can merge them together into a burst or make a collection of them the other way to locate these uh, similar photos is by using the new filter function that we have that we have introduced in Qmaji 1.5 which we have released just today okay so we are going to show that uh, later in the demo as well uh, another uh, important user story is uh, you know if a user has a lot of photos uh, imagine a person uh, an individual person or a family sorry a family uh, a family guy and you know you have some ch uh, you have children and you know you store a lot of photos you take a lot of photos and of course you still store all those photos on uh, <clears throat> on your Qmaji so imagine if this kind of scenario happens so it will become very difficult for that person uh, to find their photos because over a period of time you know there will be so many photos accumulated because as the as, as over a period of time the number of photos will grow the number of family members will grow and the more you travel you know the more number of places will be added in your photos so it will become very difficult for you to you know locate these photos or easily find these photos okay so how to quickly browse for such kind of photos or uh, how to quickly browse or find your photos to, uh, in such kind of scenario is we have introduced new filters a lot of filters which we are going to demo today okay so you can filter on the basis of a person you can filter on the basis of uh, some ai category or object and you can also filter on the basis of time uh, media types or places or tags okay so these are some um, features like filter function which can really help you to you know make your browsing experience much much better at the end of the day the user experience will improve okay so let's do one thing uh, let's uh, switch to our demo um, uh, our uh, demo screen and then one by one we can show you the new features first of all uh, as we mentioned uh, today we have released our new version of Qmaji that is Qmaji version 1.5 uh, you can go to the QNAP app center and in the app center you can just search for Qmaji and you will see version 1.5 has been released uh, the version 1.5 has been released to the latest QTS version QTS uh, 451 okay all right so now let's open uh, Qmaji let's just search okay here okay so this is our uh, Qmaji uh, screen on the left hand side you will see the menu so you can see all your photos albums and photos uh, based on folders um, uh, and uh, if there is any mobile related application or uh, mobile app related uh, uh, uploads you can see here and if you are sharing uh, your albums with anybody you can see all those here we'll, we'll go through one of uh, we'll go through them one by one okay so this is our main uh, screen here photos and all your photos are here and they are you can see them on the basis of timeline you can see on here you know uh, so this, this is a timeline view of all your photos you can just go to any 
year you can click on any year and you know you can see the timeline view of your photos this is just like uh, Google Photos has okay um, of course you can change the view the way you want you can just uh, switch to this view instead of timeline view and you can change the size of the thumbnails as per your convenience okay so we'll keep it uh, like uh, maybe let's keep this one for the sake of this demo uh, and uh, then you can also change the sorting function okay um, the first thing I would like to tell you is like you know uh, you can go to the settings here and uh, in the settings you can decide the content management so for example uh, it's possible that you know you are storing your photos in uh, the NAS in different folders so you have to tell Qmaji that where are your photos located in the NAS so by default um, multimedia folder is there but if you want to change the content source so the source folder you can change it here okay so right now we have chosen two folders multimedia and google drive uh, hbs3 just these two folders okay so that means all the photos located in these two folders will appear in qmaji if there are some photos in the other folders they will not come here so you have to just uh, you know select those folders and then those photos will be uh, displayed in qmaji okay so you can edit the content sources from the settings then if uh, you are not willing to keep uh, you know ai powered uh, functions uh, uh, working you can always go to qmaji core here and you can pause them why because some nas because uh, generally uh, ai needs a lot of uh, uh, computation resource so if you think you don't want that you can just go and pause so you can pause all of them so you know it doesn't affect your uh, performance okay and uh, you can also choose the default permissions for different uh, uh, users on the NAS here okay if you want to upload photos from your desktop or PC it's very simple is here just click on this button upload and you can upload from PC here and uh, you know you can just choose the photos here and you can upload so these are very trivial and simple functions I will not going to demo them because I mean they are way too simple for anybody to understand and um, I just want to give you a brief overview before we go into detailed demo okay uh, here in the album section you can see all these albums now th this is all the you know these albums you see like people things keywords places events they are all artificial intelligence based albums so they are automatically created okay so for example if you just go to people here so all these you know group of people or all these uh, face recognition have automatically been done and uh, when you find a category of people so for example uh, let's say this one so if you find something so just click on who is this and you can add a new name so this is judith so okay so now it has been added so you can see judith's name is here so a new people uh, a new uh, you know person has been added okay so all the facial recognition and uh, you know facial classification will be done here so you can keep adding the names and uh, of the people okay so the other is things you can see here in things you know there are so many different things are here uh, we have almost more than uh, almost around 400 different types of uh, uh, objects or things you know so what it will do is you know it will automatically detect the things or photos uh, photos related to those, th those things so for example let's say alcohol so all the photos uh, in your database whatever photos are there related to alcohol which will it will automatically come here uh, let me give you another example let's say beach so just click on beach so all the beach related photos are automatically you know classified here so these are done by the qmaji core okay another example let me show you is let's say car so just click on car and all the car photos will automatically come here okay so these are smart albums that we have okay so this this is the album function here so uh, then the next one is the uh, here folder view you can see all your photos based on folders as well as I showed you before you have multimedia folder and Google Drive HSP, HBS3 folder so just click on multimedia folder and you can see all the photos in this folder and these are the subfolders okay so you can just click on uh, any one of them and you will be able to see all the photos okay so this is the folder view and here you can see the different photos which have been uh, uploaded maybe from the NAR or from your mobile phones okay and here is the share setting like which photos you have shared and you know when you shared it and all those things you can see here okay now 
the first thing is uh, I would like to introduce to you is about our uh, filter function having gone through all the uh, brief uh, overview of QMAG let me introduce you about our new function that is the filter function so the problem here is uh, we discussed uh, while we were doing the slides is that you know if if there is a family photograph or if there is a person who has a lot of photos about his family and you know he wants to find photos uh, quickly or locate photos quickly for his uh, for some particular uh, for some particular uh, let's say situation it's very difficult for them to do that okay normally right now let's say I want to see all the photos for my son okay so I have to go scroll down here and you know find all the photos related to my son and you know one by one so it will become very difficult or the other way for me to do is I can just go into here and just go to people and uh, I can corresponding to my son I can see all the photos here uh, here okay yeah so I can see all the photos here let's do this not now okay so this is one way of doing it that is uh, albums okay but there's another way of doing it and that is the advanced filter function that we have added in uh, QMAG version 1.5 which is here so you go to your photos and go to this icon this is called the filter icon just click here and you can see there are so many filters that we have added so now it becomes really really easy for you to locate the photos that you need so for example I need all the photos for my son which I took in let's say 2018 how can I do it I just go here I can select photo media type as photo and I can choose my son you can see there's so many people here so I can just type the name of my son Zevain okay and I can just choose the year so now you can see all the photos of this year only I can easily find so it becomes very very easy for you to find the photos that you need okay so these are the filter functions that we have introduced so imagine one more situation that uh, I want to see I want to find all the photos of my son that I took on his birthday okay so there are two ways to do it one is I can use timeline uh, so for example like I can I can first select the name here sorry so let's okay I have already selected this so let's say you select this filter okay that is one thing the second thing is what you can do is you can select the timeline here so because I know he is born in January so maybe I can just select January so now all the photos which were taken in January are here okay but uh, Another way to do is I, I want to find the photos which are related to my son's birthday is I can go to these things you know this is remember these are object classification that we uh, mentioned before and uh, all I have to do is just click on here and search for birthday this this is an automatic category which is created by QNAP and you can see all the photos related to my son's birthday are here of course they are not all the photos but you can easily find the photos which are related to his birthday you can also add one more uh, uh, object like cake so you know little bit more number of photos might be added okay so this is a very very quick way for you to find your photos <clears throat> all right so another example I can show you here is like uh, let's say I want to take uh, I want to check the photos of myself but the ones I took really really let's say five years ago or ten years ago uh, so you know it's not easy because I then I have to scroll down one by one I have to scroll and it's not easy so the using the filter function what you can simply do is I can just search for my name here sorry I can just search for my name and I can search for the timeline so the latest the oldest one is 2013 so I can just click on 2013 so you can see all the photos related to me in 2013 are here okay so it becomes very very easy okay so that's the filter function uh, so this is a new function that we have introduced and you can filter out on the basis of media type on the basis of uh, people you can see you can search for people you can filter for people you can filter for media type timeline object okay and also places okay uh, if you want to remove some of the filters like you don't need all these filters you can just go to here I can you can select the type of filters you need let's say there is one more filter called advanced media type so let's click here and let's click the tag filter which so far I have disabled okay so now you can see here 
let me show you all the filters okay so let me just open again you can see advanced media type filters are also added now so if i'm just looking for let's say time lapse photos or similar photos i can just click on similar photos and very easily you can see all the similar photos here they are grouped together so it becomes very easy for you to find the photos which are very similar to each other you can see here they are grouped together you know all these similar photos you know they are grouped together see here so it really saves time if you want to look for photos which are really really similar to each other another advanced media type is maybe like live photos or time lapse burst well, let's say i click on live photos so these are all the live photos corresponding to me okay so if you don't need any of the filters you can definitely unselect from here and once you are done you can just uh, just click here and just close this filter and you, you can just browse through your photos very easily okay so this is one of the you know um, main uh, new functions that we have introduced in uh, uh, Qmaji now let's back uh, let's get back to the slides now okay so there are some more new fun uh, there are some more functions which we'd like to introduce to you so one is a, a face search we call it face search and this is a new way to uh, you know search for people so for example instead of uh, i mean this is another way so let's say you want to search for somebody you know you can just upload their photo so let's say uh, and uh, you upload their photo and qmaji will automatically detect the photo and they and qmaji will return the list of all the uh, uh, will return the photos which are corresponding uh, to this particular face okay so we call it the face search uh, the other one is uh, albums or smart albums, intelligent albums uh, and uh, the new type of album we have added is events. So basically how do we define an event is like if there are more than 10 photos taken in a specific date or location then Qmaji will automatically classify them as, as, as an events album. So uh, the way where this is used is so for example you know if you have an event let's say birthday or anniversary or a get together or a party of course within the same date there will be a lot of photos right and uh, automatically uh, what we're trying to do is you know for corresponding to corresponding to that date uh, an an album will be created but there should be more than 10 photos uh, so that you know we can classify it as a event so let me show you this uh, let's go back to the uh, demo yeah so let's go here in the album section and you can see here there are events okay so i click here and you can see here this is an event related to a marriage so if you just click here so all these photos are you know taken in uh, during on on this particular day uh, and it is you can see this is a, a you know a wedding related uh, photo so this is a smart album created by qmaji automatically you know so yeah so it really saves time so this is the events uh, album this is something new uh, we have recently introduced okay so uh, yeah let's go back to the slides okay simplified album creation so this is another new feature that we have introduced uh, and I'm going to demo this uh, uh, right now uh, we have simplified the way you can you know create an album so that you know uh, the overall user experience is really nice so uh, can we go back to the uh, demo again okay so as you go to the album section you can see you know you we at the top you will see all these albums they are automatically created by Qmaji this is uh, AI powered all these albums uh, here they are albums based on media types like for example similar photos, burst photos, time lapse, 360 degree photos, live photos, videos okay and here are the albums which the user are, users are creating on their own so let's say they are the manually created for uh, albums uh, let me first delete uh, anything just to make sure you know we have nothing to uh, work with yeah so let's say there is no album at the moment okay so what we have done is uh, you know uh, we have simplified the album creation uh, user, uh, user experience so just go here click on create an album here okay and you can see uh, 
by default a name uh, the album name will be suggested based on the date and time which is right now and you can select your photos easily so for example I can just simply select this photo based on the date so all these photos are taken on the same date so you know I can just select these photos so for example here I can just select these photos okay so I, if I just click here so all the photos corresponding to that date will automatically be selected all I have to do is now just if I want to give it a name, I can give it a name, let's say Lion Fix, okay. And I can just click on create and you can see the album is created. So it's very easy for you to create the album, okay. Let me show you another example here to create an album very easily. Just click on here, create an album and you can, you know, go down and, you know, you can select a particular date corresponding to, uh, you know, uh, um, corresponding to your timeline so let's say we go to uh, something okay let's say something like this so this is a photo shoot uh, all I have to do is just select click on here and all the photos taken on this particular date will be selected here you can see here and just click on create and the album is created so all the photos are here for the particular album okay so we have simplified this function uh, before uh, the album creation was uh, not so simple I mean uh, the but this time I think the user experience is much much better so this is another new function that you know we have introduced which really uh, <coughs> improves the user experience okay let's go back to the slides okay a uh, few other functions uh, we have introduced uh, recently is about uh, a burst and time lapse uh, album uh, collection uh, basically what you can do is uh, whenever you find some similar photos you can just merge them together or expand uh, them as a collection okay uh, you can merge them together as a burst or you can merge them together as a time lapse uh, then uh, we have also introduced uh, a feature like archiving uh, uh, archiving um, an album using q filing so this uh, part was already uh, demonstrated in during the Q filing uh, live broadcast so uh, you can check that live broadcast and see how you know you can archive any album using Q filing okay uh, then uh, when you are uploading any photos you know you can see the background uh, tasks uh, you can see the progress of the uh, all your photos which are getting uploaded okay so it really becomes uh, uh, easy for you and you know you don't have to worry about what is going on so you know all these are just uh, uh, functions we have added for improving the user experience okay and uh, let's go to uh, let's go back to the demo and uh, this at the end I think I would just like to give a little introduction about uh, keywords here okay I think we have discussed uh, about uh, people uh, we have discussed about things we have discussed we have not discussed about keywords so let me tell you one thing uh, keyword is the same thing as uh, tags okay so for example uh, Although Qmaji has a very powerful object classification and you can see here most of the uh, f categories here you know we support at the moment 400 around 400 categories okay but still uh, it's you know it's artificial intelligence so if the user still wants to have more categories or more uh, you know uh, tags related to their photos they can add it in the they can add it and they can see it in the tags option so you can see here now these are some manually created tags so for example for cloud uh, this, this is a photo uh, we have added so let me show you how to do it and it really you know becomes easy even for sorting uh, even for filtering out uh, you know tags are really helpful so let me show you here uh, let me remove all the filters uh, let's remove the filters here okay now let's say these are some photos so I can just click on this photo and I can just go to the uh, this option button and I can see the tag and I can edit the tag for this one so you can see there is no tag here so maybe we can give it a tag like uh, um, a new tag or let's let's keep it in food and click on save okay so now this photo should be saved into our keyword food so let's go here and you can see it's here okay so similarly we can create any new tag so for example uh, uh, let's find something unique uh, from here 
Mm. Okay, let's say this one. So let's create a new tag named kangaroo. Okay, uh, create a tag kangaroo and um, just click on save and you can close this and if you want you can put more photos under the same tag so for example this one you can put this one you can put this one this one as well as this one this one so you know you can put all of them under the same tag so click on edit tags uh, kangaroo and save so all these photos are now tagged with kangaroo so what we can do is just go to albums and go to uh, keywords in the keywords just go to kangaroo and you can see six photos are added here okay so you can create your own object class basically this is similar to object classification the only difference is you have to manually tag each and every photo so now the advantage is of course when you go to filter when you want to do the filter all you have to do is just go to the tags and click on the tag that you want so for example let's uh, refresh this one and uh, wait a minute let's refresh the page okay um, yeah you can see here kangaroo so all I have to do is just click on kangaroo and all the photos related to kangaroo will be here okay so the filter function also gives you the option to filter using tags okay and I just showed you the example of how to filter using tags okay so yeah so that's it uh, i think for today's uh, demo uh, i would like to you know uh, request all our users to go and try out a kumaji version 1.5 uh, we have tried to you know improve the overall user experience and uh, having said that uh, uh, we always welcome more feedback so if you have any other questions or uh, concerns regarding Qmaji, please feel free to uh, give, a, give us your feedback and would uh, like to keep on improving, keep on working on it and uh, our goal is to, uh, you know, uh, position Qmaji as one of the leading photo management solutions in the world. So that can be done with the help of our users and, you know, we'll definitely take their feedback and uh, yeah, so having said that, so thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, have a nice weekend.